Dear students, welcome to my channel. Starting today, I will be sharing MATLAB simulating based model focusing on electric vehicles and battery related domain. This video will be specially helpful for your BTEC or MTEC project. With a few modifications, you can even use the simulation result to write an IEEE conference paper. The simulating models I provide are completely free. Just follow the steps shown, apply them in your MATLAB environment and you will get the exact output. In today's video, we will develop a basic simulating model that demonstrates the charging and discharging process of a battery. We will also observe key parameters like state of charge, SOC, voltage and current of the battery during the charging as well as the discharging process. This is the fundamental model that lays the groundwork for more advanced EV simulations in the future. So make sure you follow each step carefully. So first we will starting the charging process. So for that we are going, we are taking the battery. So first we are going for the simulation library. So here I am searching for the battery. So here you can see just search this battery. So this just take this battery. Okay, so here you can see in this battery two terminals are there. One is the positive and the negative, and here you can see one symbol is there M. M meaning measurement port. So from this measurement port, we are taking the three parameters that is the ASOC, current, and the voltage of the battery. Next, just click this, double click in the battery. Here you can see this is the parameter portion is there, one is the discharge is there. So here you can see the type. So here you can also take the different types of the battery, whether it will be the lead acid, lithium ion, nickel cadmium or nickel metal hybrid. So for this particular simulation, I am taking the lithium ion. So here you can also see, you can also include the temperature effect, but we will take this temperature effect in our next video. So here I am taking the nominal voltage of this battery is 1.2 volt, rated capacity 6.5 and initial state of charge I am taking 50 because I have to charge the lithium battery by using some DC voltage sources. So here the battery response time I am taking the 30 second as it is. Now here you can see discharge. So based on that parameters I am giving this input it automatically calculates the other parameter like cutoff voltage, nominal discharge current, internal resistance of the uh, battery, exponential zone etc. So here you can also plot uh, the discharge current or the voltage by with the time. So just click on the plot option. So here you can see lots of things just go to and explore this one okay so for uh, this battery i am taking 1.2 volt 6.5 and 50 percent initial charge just take the apply okay now as i have to charge the battery i have to take the dc voltage source so let's search dc voltage source okay so this is the dc voltage source adding this one so here I am taking the DC voltage source as 16 volt. Okay. Now I am connecting to the DC voltage source with the positive and with the negative uh, terminal of the battery. So for that I am flipping this one. Uh, first of all I am rotating and then I am flipping this battery. So you already know how to flip. Just go to the rotate and the flip option then flip block and then up and down here you can see the terminal terminals are flipped so just connect it positive to the positive terminal and the negative to the negative terminal okay now i have to find the parameters of the battery so for that i have to take the output from this measurement port for that i use bus selector is just start this bus selector and add this to the model so here i am just connecting this measurement port to the bus selector then just you have to double click on this portion so here you can see 
just you have to remove this thickness and here you can see all the three, three parameters that we are getting from the battery is selected here one is the SOC second one is the current and third one is the voltage just select the SOC this one select current select voltage and then select so here you can see we are getting the three signal just apply and ok ok now simulating model is ready just to see the output of the SOC voltage and current we need scope so just search it scope you already know uh, the basics of the simulation so just add this one so here you can see we need three scope because we need the three parameter this one is the SOC here this is one is the current and this is one, this one for the voltage okay now we need power GUI you already know without power GUI we cannot run the program add so I am taking the power GUI as a continuous and here I am taking uh, the running time is the 5 seconds and here I am already changed uh, the voltage uh, 16 volt now I am running the program so complete so let's see the SOC then current as well as the voltage So this is the SOC curve, this is the current and this is the voltage. Let's arrange these three output. We can also see the three output at the same window but uh, for the visualization I just take the three scope for your better understanding. So here you can see uh, our battery charging is the 50% SOC state of charge. Then whenever we connected the 16 volt battery to charge the lithium ion battery so here you can see ACC is instantly increased up to 100, 100% means full charge. So here you can see the current also increasing. Also here you can see voltage at constant at the 16 volt. So here you can see that whenever charging the battery, the current is starting from minus 8000. So can you tell me why the, uh, why the current is coming from the negative? Just uh, comment on the uh, comment section in my video okay so this is the charging so during this charging process we will see the current is coming from the positive so just give me the reason why this happened uh, during the charging process as well as the during the discharging process the current will be the positive just give the reason in the comment section okay so this is during the charging so now we go for the discharging process so discharging process means we have to decrease the charge of the battery for that portion we are using some resistance because we have to drop the energy so just what happened just uh, remove this portion of the DC voltage source and add the resistance so for the resistance we are using series RLCU branch search it here this is series RLC branch at this portion so here you can see just double click it you already know so you from this portion you can easily choose any of the components whether it will be the R whether it will be the AL, RL or RC any combination so for here we requirement is the resistance so that's why we are taking the resistance and taking the resistance value is 20 ohm okay apply okay and now I am connecting just rotate this portion and connecting to the positive positive of the battery and the negative of the battery okay that's it and I am here taking the 10 uh, 50, uh, 50 second for run time just okay here you can see the program is already completed okay so here you can see uh, the battery is discharging from 50 uh, 50 percent SOC to here you can see uh, 
from 48.35 to it decreased from 48.35 similarly the current is decreased similarly also voltage is decreased but here you can see the current is decreasing from the positive values but in case of the charging what happened we see during the charging the current is increasing from the minus side okay uh, so uh, that's all about me uh, all about today's uh, simulation uh, it is very easy simulation just connect the battery uh, to the external voltage to charge the battery for the discharge you can easily use the resistance and you have to remember one thing uh, that uh, to see the parameters of the battery you have to use the bus selector from the bus selector you can easily find the three parameters of the battery that is the state of charge current and the voltage so in the second video i will cover the effect of temperature on battery performance we will develop two models one with temperature effects and one without temperature effect to compare their behavior as we all know during the summer our mobile phone batteries tends to decrease faster we will explore this phenomenon through simulation uh, so see you in the next video stay safe stay healthy and thank you for watching